Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now exclusively is Russian supermodel and actress Katya Elizarova. So hi, thanks for joining us today. Hello, Yana. Kicking off, um, the Ukrainian and Russian crisis tension is uh, ramping up quite a bit, and especially with David Cameron um, talking about um, how the Crimean referendum is uh, legal. So how have you found that tension um, spilling over into London, and how has it um, affected your life or career recently? Um, well, unfortunately, it did affect my career. Um, and as an example, it is international co-production, the film co-production that suffered because of that. Um, just recently I've been offered a really amazing role in, in the film that is both backed up by Ukrainians and French, uh, which cannot proceed anymore well, for obvious reasons. And I would understand the investors, the Ukrainian investors feel really, really worried for what is happening. So the film got postponed. So hence my expectations to be in the film too. So do you have any longer term fears of how it's going to impact not only your career but the wider industry and fashion as well? Of course, uh, being a model for over 11 years now, I worry for fashion quite a lot. As we know, creativity does no borders. Uh, and putting uh, borders and restrictions on Russia uh, would affect industry, fashion industry uh, from economical point of view and from the creative point of view. Um, Russia has to keep close ties with uh, cities like London, Paris, New York and Milan and with restrictions being imposed on Russia I can't see this to be going smoothly. Well we're picking up in London and you've been living here for quite some time now. Um, so have you felt over the last month or so a different kind of tonal treatment maybe towards you or friends because you're Russian? Well we obviously have people that would come over and ask, so what do you think about Mr. Putin and how, how do you see things escalating and working and how, what is happening with Crimea? Uh, well, I know myself, I'm Russian and of course I love Russia. Uh, being 14 years old though, I left the country, come to the UK for the opportunities that we were not offered in my country, but were offered here. Uh, now I know that Russia is a big player and Russia needs to, be, need to be able to offer its opportunities to the rest of the world. This might not be happening. Um, I do not want to uh, answer for the problems uh, that faces my country at the moment because I, well, I, live, in, I live here and I, I studied uh, law. I understand international law a little bit. I see that there, there are problems here. Um, but as a Russian, I also feel for my country too, and for Russian people as well. Well, you have family over in Russia at the moment. Are they, um, how are they feeling about all of it? And are, are, do you worry for them? I do worry for my family, of course. Uh, my grandmother is Ukrainian, and she worries the most. Uh, but she worries mostly for the fact that the war might end up in uh, defaulting rubble. And like this, she doesn't want to sell her flat. For example, she worries for the start of the war that she doesn't want to happen. And Ukrainians and Russians have always been friends and we are brothers and sisters by blood and culture. So what is happening right now is not, is not good. And I, I'm really upset for some of the friends that unfriend other Russians or Ukrainians just for the fact that you come from the country. On Facebook, you know, that <laughs> seems like the, the, the most upsetting thing for people to be unfriended of Facebook just based on the country where you're coming from. And it's more of the symbolic gesture of someone doing that. It is, yes, and I don't think it should influence, uh, well, the, 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 the conflict in that region should not influence uh, educated young generation. Uh, we all want to work, work together in freedom and what is happening now is, as I said, is, is, is not uh, helping. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and that was Katya Elisa Rover.